The NDT of aircraft, during manufacture and in service, is second to none, both for the military and civil aerospace industries. The aircraft manufacturer must comply with strict statutory standards and procedures for inspecting the aircraft when it is being constructed. Regulations also require airline operators to conduct extensive NDT as part of their maintenance schedules. There are occasions in the life of an aircraft when it gets stripped to the bare bones, inspected from nose to tail, from wingtip to wingtip, and then put back together and repainted like new. During in-service inspection, a whole range of NDT could be carried out, depending on the number of flying hours. The NDT could be carried out in a hangar or perhaps in the engine shop. In the engine shop, the individual parts of the engine get removed and more detailed inspections can be carried out. Here we see the NDT engineer observing an automated ultrasonic inspection of the fan disc, which is completely immersed under water. The whole of the fan disc can also be assessed in microscopic detail using eddy current techniques. Using automated techniques allows the NDT engineers to set a much finer and more precisely defined scan than would be possible with a manual approach. Nowadays, one of the world's major aerospace manufacturers can even monitor its engines while in use worldwide so that any problems can be spotted and diagnosed at a very early stage. This means they can be dealt with long before they become critical. <laughs>